Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you everything that's new in Construct 3 release 204. As ever, there's absolutely loads of new stuff in this release. Uh, see the uh, release notes for all the details. Um, but I'm just going to pick out three highlights for you in this video. So the first thing I'm going to briefly mention is the cloud save improvements. We've done some work here. Uh, now with uh, OneDrive and Google Drive, you can now access shared folders, um, which show the slightly different icon here. So now if you want to share projects with other people, um, you can use shared folders and um, sort of collaborate on projects that way. It, we think this will be especially useful in, say, a classroom if you want students to share work with a teacher. We've also improved Microsoft OneDrive. It now supports more account types. So if you use OneDrive Business or different account types like Microsoft 365, it should now work with those as well. So if you found it didn't work before, uh, give it another go. Next up, uh, there's a big new improvement to the timelines feature. Um, you can now use nested timelines. So as you may have seen before, timelines are a animation sequencing system uh, in Construct. Uh, designed through the timeline bar. And here I've just opened timeline two, and timeline two is a uh, just a simple kind of animation for this toaster character here. If I play that, you can see it moves along there. And now the nested timelines come into play when if I open timeline one, you can see timeline one includes timeline two at uh, starting at one second inside this timeline. And this project will just only play timeline one and timeline one itself also plays timeline two and timeline three as you can see there and now if I preview that you can see that at the one second and two second positions the other timelines also play within that timeline so this is a really powerful way of making more sophisticated animations using the timelines feature so now timelines can refer to other timelines and uh, help avoid repeating uh, sequences of animations and make it easier to um, make uh, sequences of separate timelines playing one after another. Next up, uh, the third and final thing I want to mention in this video is there's a new uh, date plugin uh, which is useful for managing dates and times and this is if you search for date uh, in the ex uh, start page you can see this example project which demonstrates how it works and uh, most of the plugin works on um, what's called timestamps, which is basically the number of milliseconds since the 1st of January 1970, which was quite a long time ago now, but uh, the 70s is when all of these um, uh, timing systems were first designed. And so this number of milliseconds since 1970 is a fairly, is a standard software um, development way of referring to a point in time. Uh, you can see that's just a large number, so you can store that in variables and so on and so forth. Um, but typically that's not something you want to show to the user. So the date plugin can, for example, um, show that as a, uh, a, a string uh, with a date and a time. In this case, in uh, the current time zone, so I'm, I'm in the UK and it's June, so this is British summer time and it's just after one o'clock. And you can see that updating in real time as well. And there's other tools such as extracting uh, the um, separate aspects of the date. So the month is June, but this is a zero-based index. So watch out for that, um, five being the sixth month of the year. And there's also some utilities to calculate um, difference, uh, the difference between dates and some other tools which you might find useful, such as being able to show timer values uh, like you'd see on a stopwatch. So if I move, uh, change the year there, you can see that it's about six months, six and a half months until the 1st of January, 2021. Okay, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. As I mentioned, there's absolutely loads more. So go and have a look at the release notes and we hope you enjoy this release.